hey how you doing so yes i'm um i'm home i'm actually working a lot more from home now can you believe it than i did before and i'll explain to you why uh please don't look for Nduko and Kimeo. they're not showing up they've gone riding um they have other things to do and it gives me a chance to have a three-minute conversation with you um why am i retreating as everybody is heading out because i've been out since march and I find that I get a little anxious now when I see crowds. I, I do. I really, really do. And I am very conscious of, of, of exposure. I really am an, an unapologetic about it. Um, I need to believe that the people I will come in contact with are people whose sense of their own responsibility about COVID is as heightened as mine. If I was in a security state, I'm, I'm on code red. I'm not even amber. I, I, the minute the president said, let's go, but literally has said, you know, make the best immunity survive, um, I went into code red. So that's where I am. Um, am I going to venture out? Yes. But uh, like I said, my, my sense of my alertness is, is at a higher level. And I would be very amiss, you know, to have this conversation with you, even if I want to talk about money, if I didn't start with health, uh, it just doesn't make sense. And I think for all of us, it's, it's thinking very seriously about the things that we've done so far, because I hear this pandemic fatigue where you're like, I'm tired of washing my hands. I'm tired of sanitizing. I'm tired. I'm tired. Please don't be. Don't be, because when when you lose that is when things really will go wrong. OK, uh, but enjoy freedom, you know, um, enjoy it responsibly. And remember, really, it's it's now down to you. you. You cannot blame anybody else for this. And if things go wrong for you and I think you realize more and more and more, uh, a lot of us are now ending up in health facilities. But I wanted to talk about money and I didn't want to. um give you something to to chew on before I actually heard from you. And I've told you before, there's three things that I think that are going to continue to be central to our lives. Our health, money, making it, finding it, holding on to it, you know, multiplying it, finding more of it. That's that's going to be big. And it's not just at an individual level. It's at organizational level, at a country level, at a global level. OK. I can only deal with you and me and obviously our our children, education and, and everything around learning that involves them. OK, but I wanted to talk about what I personally have learned um, about me and my money in the last couple of months. Number one, um, biblically, we've been told that we cannot have one stream of income and now more than ever, you realize that first you realize in Nairobi are, we're all hustlers. Huh? We've got regular jobs and then we hustle. And, and I think the future belongs to the hustlers. Okay. Somebody told me that after COVID, wh whatever that looks like, the, the world will be made out of three people, millionaires, billionaires, and witnesses. So you decide where you're going to be. So I have learned that um, the hustle is, is real. It's not even something you just say. I have learned that um, saving is not something your mother used to say to just drive you crazy. Saving and investing is one of the smartest things you can do and investing in an instrument that allows you to have access to the funds when you need them is even better. And um, being very deliberate about how you spend your money now more than ever is one of the smartest things you could do. We should all have been doing this because we've been told over and over again. It's just that it wasn't as, as vivid, you know, as it has become in the last couple of months. And also, you know, learning that um, employment is not guaranteed. I mean, we used to hear it because our parents used to talk about the fact that your days are not like ours, but COVID has brought that reality truly, truly and very sharply into focus and into reality for very, very many of us. So, you know, that's me. Those are my learnings. Um, what are yours? Uh, one, two, share. Because, you know, every time I read your comments, I realize that uh, I learn something, but I'm not alone. I'm not alone. And, and that's it's, it's a very wonderful feeling. 
And I'm sure, as as you see, the, 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 the grind is on, the hustle is on, let's do this, let's make an extra coin, two, 10, 20 coins. Your mind is also thinking very differently. What, what am I gonna do to hold on to it, to make it go further, to work for me harder? And, and I have some, I have some things up my sleeve that I want to share with you this week. Um, very good, but very simple. Oof. I'm excited about it, but I want to hear from you because maybe I'm the only one sitting here realizing, Hey, we got okay, Nambesa. What? Yes. Um, but that's me. And, and, and there was a reason I'm having the conversation with my daughter around money, because I'm hoping, you know, th that COVID has given us an opportunity positively to do better because now we know better. Right? Right. Good. Super. So I comment and oh, subscribe.